Hello, my floss tube friends. It's time for another episode. Welcome! How's everybody doing? Good? Good. Because it's Friday. It's time for another fun Friday floss tube weekly update with me. I am Annie, Joyfield Stitcher, both here on floss tube YouTube and on Instagram. And if you are here, you have reached a channel about cross stitch and some other crafting things, endeavors. And it is Friday, June the 12th, 2020, and this is floss tube number 56. And right now I should be in Cincinnati. Sad face. This was StitchCon. So it occurred to me throughout the course of this week when I was getting reminders about my hotel and about my flights that I forgot to remove from my phone, that StitchCon is not happening right now and it makes me really sad. But it also makes me really excited to already have kind of some thoughts going about next year. Now, for any of you who have been around for any length of time, you will know that here in Texas in the summer, in the late spring, in the early fall, it gets hot and with the heat comes crazy looking hair. So that's what you get today. Um, so yeah, it's a little, it's a little nonsense, but it's okay. I, I, I have affectionately called it nonsense and foolishness hair and it's all right. We're going to, we're going to make do with this today. So what do we have in store for this, this weekly update? So I have some whips. I have a partial finish. I'm gonna count it as a partial finish. I had a start. I wasn't planning a start, but there's a story behind it. I have a start. Cause that I have whips. I'm gonna show you what little bit I got done on my diamond paint, my current diamond painting. Talk a little bit about plans. I have a pitiful amount of stash, but then we have some giveaways because hip hip hooray, I hit 2K. So there are over 2K amazing people that have chosen to be part of this journey with me, this wild ride. So I am planning to shower those of you that have stuck through and chosen to hit that subscribe or hit that and hit that bell. And hopefully some of you that comment um, regularly, some of you that I've built friendships with, we'll see if the random comment picker, but I have six little prize packs to share with you. So more to come on that towards the end. I'll do that before life update. Um, so a couple other things that I'd like to just get out of the way before we look at some stitching and some other fun stuff. Um, thank you to all of you who have chosen to join me on this journey. Join me in this cross stitch endeavor um, week after week. Thank you to those of you who are new I know there's a number of you that are new. Obviously, I hit 2K this week. It literally happened from one minute to the next. And I believe a little bit of thanks is in order for the Sunshine Stitchers for having me as part of their video last week. They are doing an incredible job of doing kind of social distanced videos. And so they're doing their videos on Zoom and they're inviting other floss tubers to come and chat with them and be part of their videos. And I was thrilled and honored beyond measure to be part of that last Saturday. So that was kind of the thing that I alluded to in my video last week, but I didn't feel like sharing because that really isn't my news to share. But I was so floored when um, they reached out to me and said, hey, you want to be part of our video? And I was like, what? Yes, amazing, of course. I would love it. And so it was a super fun time. We had a couple of technical glitches here and there with audio, with video. It was super fun. I enjoyed seeing what they're working on. EJ, Shelia, Gary, thank you so much for including me. I had a blast and um, yeah, it was just super fun. So I think I forgot something. I forgot your, day, your, your weekly hug. Um, that is something that Becca Sambry stitches 
asked me, said I should continue to do. And so I started kind of doing it every week. So we need our weekly hug. So here we go. Here's your hug. So if you were in need of a hug and have not had a hug, you've now had a virtual hug from me. I promise I'm much better hugger in person. So, next thank you is obviously I thanked all of you for being here, but I want to also reach out and say thank you so much for all the well wishes, the prayers about my health, both mental and physical. I will at the end do an update, kind of more about that, but I wanted to on the front side say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This has been an interesting whirlwind of a time. It continues to be, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling more like myself. And so I will chat more about that towards the end because I know not everybody's really interested in life update. And I have become attuned to that and I am going to respect those that life update is not something that you enjoy. However, it would not be a video if I didn't share what was going on with me. But I'm just going to do it at the end. So kind of the, we're going to go through stitching and all of that jazz. Then we'll do giveaways and then we'll go into life update, if that works for everybody, okay? So I thought I would actually start out by showing you a previous finish because I finished this one before I started Floss Tube and I never showed it and it's one of my most favorite finishes. It was actually one that I did for Joy Filled Little One. She has an insane love of unicorns, most, I wouldn't say most, that's a generalization. A lot of little girls love unicorns. Well, so she loves unicorns. And I saw this chart. It is from Fuzzy Fox Designs on Etsy. I will link it below. I do link most everything. You may have noticed that show notes were there, or not show notes, but description box was there for last week's video. And I went back and did it for the video before. So those are both updated. So if there was something you were looking for information on in either video 54 or 55, that information is there now. So. It just won't be till tomorrow. So this is from Fuzzy Fox Designs and this is Sparkles the Unicorn. And I stitched this, I believe, on a 16 count Ada. And it's kind of, it's, I thought it was opalescent, but it it's mildly opalescent. I don't even know that it's opalescent. But it's got a really pretty lavender mottled look to it. I think it's a fabric flare. And stitched in the call for DMC. I did add in some petite treasure braid for some of the fun detailing. I did a wrapped hoop finish on this, which I used the DMC that the chart used and did a wrapped hoop. And then I put a bow and this hangs on her wall and she loves it. And then the back, I just did um, the felted cover. So this is a previous finish. And with that, I'm gonna pause. Please. Okay, so I just bumped that, sorry. I am back. Um, I had, my, my dinner was delivered to the doorstep contact list delivery my new favorite thing all right I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you my progress on Joybird which is my current diamond painting this is from Diamond Art Club last week I had these two sections I'm kind of sectioning it off and I am currently working through this section you will see I'm not finished but I did pull back the cover so that you could see it without glare I love how sparkly this is um, somebody had asked me what I thought about the Diamond Art Club kits. Um, I have heard, I had heard from, from um, those who do diamond paint, um, namely the person that I kind of watch and follow and have heard a lot about just the quality of them. There's two. Um, one is Stitcherista Danielle and the other one is Rachel Ray. And they both talk about the quality. So when I kind of thought I might want to do an already put together diamond painting kit, that was my initial thought is I want to go and buy one and see the quality. Blown away. Amazing quality. And the person that reached out to me had asked, how long does it take to get one? Because they had ordered one for a family member and it had been like a month or more, but I'm guessing it had come from overseas. Um, if it is in stock with Diamond Art Club, my experience has been that it's been to me within a week or thereabouts. Um, obviously, they are very low on kits right now because their supplies come from overseas. And so there was um, obviously a lag in that. 
They are doing some new releases. You can sign up to get notified of those. Um, you can also sign up to be notified if a kit that you're really interested in comes into stock and then you can go purchase it. Now, when I purchased Joybird, um, I think I purchased one other kit because I loved it and it was in stock. Um, and then I went back and at one time I got an alert that one that I was interested in came into stock and there was another one that I liked as well. So I've purchased, I have four now. I will say that I, I am going to attempt again doing um, a heaven and earth design as a diamond painting. I am, I have decided that I'm going to do tranquil tulips as a diamond, diamond painting. That I am not, I do not enjoy stitching that on what I have it on. I'm going to do it as a diamond painting. And then some of my other ones I might eventually like. Um, I will say Ice Princess that I bought as a Heaven and Earth design. Diamond Art Club has that as a diamond painting. And I am on the list to know when it comes in because I would love to do it as a diamond painting. I am not a full coverage stitcher. I have yet to find the groove with that. Now I might eventually, but right now I have a ton of cross stitch projects. It's nice to have the little diamond painting as something different um, to do. So, um, you wanna see the other kits I have? I'm just gonna show you the like cover image and that way you can see kind of what I purchased. So one of them that I purchased, and this is by Mandy Manzano, I'm gonna do my best that I can. This is called Gator Swamp. And I think it's really pretty. It's really big. Um, I think it's really pretty. And that one is a square. I think everything I purchased is a square. This one I think is, is, is so cute. It's I Love Moo. I don't remember who the artist is on this one. But I love it. I think it's so fun. Um, eventually it might hang like in my daughter's room. She loves animals. This is my next one. We have voted. Little one has voted in that. So have I. This is uh, by Hannah Lynn or Hannah Disney, and this is Dahlia, and she is beautiful. Those colors are fantastic. So that's my next one, um, but I am going to finish Joybird first, and those are all significantly larger than this one, so I did kind of go for the small to begin with. Now, let's get some stitching. Now, I did stitch more this week than I did last week. Um, I felt better all week this week. My stitchy bug kind of came back. It kind of went a couple of days last week. It was back. Um, I worked on, I kitted a few things because that just was something I felt like was vibing to kit some things. So I've got some things kitted. I know for a fact in July, I am going to start Nativity Row by Bent Creek. So I got that kitted and did a floss conversion on that. Um, and I also finished kitting... The Tudor Roseberry that we got from um, Erica Michaels for our uh, sampler guild. That was from our May meeting. I went ahead and kitted that one up with flosses. So I've got some things. Just that was something I did for fun like last Saturday and then the other day. So in no particular order really. Um, I worked on um, after my video last week and then over the weekend, I worked a little bit more on Lizzie Kate's farm sampler. This was one of my mania starts. This is on 18 Count Veteris by Mystic Fabrics. And this lives in a Diddly Daddle Designs in Hand Stitcher bag. And I am close to a finish. So I put in all the, yet. I finished the horse. I think he's adorable. I did the greenery here and all of this greenery. I did all of the flowers and centers of the flowers. This flower, this flower, and all the other yellow detailing. So on the chicken and on the bumblebee. Um, so what I have left is there is a detail that is in each of these here. Oh, and I also put in this large patch of grass. There, and then there's the word farm. And I think, I think that's all I have left. Um, so yes, those little detailings and then the word farm and I'm done. So yeah, this just needs one more small stitching session and it'll be complete. And it's so fun. It's such a fun stitch. Um, I need to find some more of these little snippets. I think, they, I think they're fun. And I need to, um, Joyfield Little One has requested that we look through patterns and try to find something that she would like to stitch. I need to find her something like that because I think Lizzie Cates are really beginner friendly. All right, this week, my 30 minutes of stitching, which I'm renaming because 
I try to get about 100 to 150 stitches in each day. So this is my 100 stitch, my daily 100 stitch project. But I try to get like kind of more than that. But it ends up being more than 30 minutes. So it's my daily 100 stitch. This lives in a bag I sewed using Helen D's tutorial. Um, and so this week I chose, I picked, I wanted to work on this project. This is Teresa Kogut Prey. And I think this angel is just insanely beautiful. Um, and I'm stitching this on a 28 count Lugana. And I believe Ash Rose. And I got a ton of work into her face. So I have a couple of errors in this middle section that I'm having to try to figure out and work through. But this is about as full coverage as I'm gonna get. And it's not gonna be completely full coverage. Um, I am doing kind of cross country by color um, in sections. So that's why it's kind of really piecemeal here in the middle. Um, and my, I don't normally show my backs, but you can see I'm doing cross country. But because it's full coverage in this area, I'm not too concerned with it. But it is gorgeous. This is such a fun stitch. And I'm doing this two over two on the 28 count. Um, part of plans is I'm going to pick what my, my 100 stitch project is next week, as well as um, off of my wheel. And then also I will be do, picking what my focus project will be for tomorrow. So kind of a little bit of how that worked this week. So this week, Monday, I spun my wheel. And for Monday and Tuesday, I worked on Prairie Birds. It lives in this bag. This is a So Much to Love bag. This was a bag of the month, I believe, back from like December. And this holds Prairie, the Prairie Schoolers Prairie Birds. And I am currently working on this one right here. So I spent two days on this. These are bigger than I thought they were going to be. And I am stitching this in the called for DMC on a 32 count linen from um, Mystery Dye from Mystic Fabrics. And I got in all the rest of the greenery, all the rest of the branches and the like pine cone shapes. So now I think if I'm correct, actually, I'm sorry. I think I actually have some of the greenery left maybe over here. I can't remember. I think I was starting to fall asleep. Um, not because this is not a fun stitch, but I was tired one night. Um, and then I have the birds and then I'll move on to the next one. I don't know if I'll end up stitching all of them, but there's some that are for sure my favorites that are going to get stitched. Um, I know for a fact, obviously I'm doing this one. Um, I love this one. I love this one with the two little birds with the nest. I love the hummingbird and I love this one. So I don't think I will stitch all of them, but I will stitch maybe about half of them. Um, I was going to have them be ornaments. They're bigger than I thought they were going to be. So I worked on that Monday, Tuesday, and then I spun the wheel and for Wednesday, Thursday, um, I worked on the project that lives in this bag. This is an envelope closure bag I sewed with fabric from my stash. And this holds 12 Days of Christmas from Satsuma Street. And I was working through um, Partridge in a Pear Tree. I am stitching this with mostly the called for DMC or close on a 36 count white uh, linen, um, Edinburgh linen. And I finished the Partridge in a Pear Tree. So I think it's so adorable. So this is kind of my partial finish because I finished a block. Now these, I am thinking, who was I watching? I think it was Java Girl Stitches. No, I don't remember who it was. If you watched this and you know who it is, remind me who it was, um, and I might remember it later. But they talked about having a stand where they could flip each day, like finish these as flat finishes, and then with rings, where they go over, it might have been Java Girl Stitches. It might have been Helen D. They said they bought something off of Amazon. Now I can't remember. So I apologize if that was you. But I loved that idea of having them be like a flat finish and then you flip them each day. So they sit like on that, like on a ringed photo frame. Today I spun the wheel and I spun the project that lives in this bag. This is another Diddly Daddle Designs in Hand Stitcher bag. 
And this holds Acorn Assortment by Ardith Design. And I did a color conversion on this. I am stitching it on an 18 count Mystic Fabrics in Snurt. And this is, um, I just ramped up the colors and did Victorian Mottos a little bit. Um, all of them are Victorian Mottos. And I got a fair bit of progress, actually. Um, I finished stitching up all of the green. I had only about three quarters of the green. And then I did the first of like this fan flower. Um, the outside border of this is pickle, is, is it pickled beets? No, I don't think it is. But it, uh, no, I apologize. It is not. It is Red Plum by Gentle Arts. So it is mostly Victorian Motto and then Red Plum. It looked like pickled beets, which pickled beets is one of my favorites if you, if you know that about me. And so, um, yeah, I'm loving this one. But... I want a different project to work on this weekend. So I'm going to still do one more day, one more day's worth of stitching into this, um, but I'm gonna still spin another project. Okay, so I have one more, which was a new start, and I put this in my joy bag. Um, Mandy blessed me with these beautiful, hand-sewn, hand hand-done, beautiful bags. Um, my other bag, my other joy bag, has my Nativity Rose, so you'll be seeing that one. Um, this one holds my new start, and it is another Teresa Kogut. This is from her, this is on her website. It is a PDF download. Um, she is doing this, the series of charts. I think it's one a week-ish. I think there's gonna be 15 total that are digital downloads, and a portion of the proceeds go to a brick and mortar store. She wanted to show like, support and love for brick and mortar stores. So this one came out this week. I thought it had to be stitched, had to be stitched. So this is United We Stand. Um, my coloring on my printer is still not right. Um, so it's not a great representation. I immediately bought it, printed this off, um, pulled the flosses and I am doing, um, I tweaked a few of them, pulled in some of my reds, it kind of had a more orangey red vibe. I pulled in some of these Victoria Mottos from the Fabulous Red collection. Um, I mean, I've got some DMC in here. I've got uh, Victoria Mottos. Yeah, DMC and Victoria Mottos pretty much is what I have. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. I am stitching this on a piece of wrote it on my cute little rainbow card because it's part of a piece of fabric um it's from be stitch me and it is through the stones is the colorway and it's 27 count linda and i'm stitching this two over two on the 27 count and i have a pretty good start on it so i did a center start i stitched the flag this is the cute little girl the girl with the bird on her head these are her arms and then this is the other girl's arm coming around the back so I have plotted tonight to finish stitching the rest of the stripes on her top and then the same color as the United We Stand. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that so that I like to stitch my white before my dark. I, I didn't do it on this part, but it didn't pull any of the blue through. But with the white and the red, I stitched the white first, then stitched the red. That's just how I like to do it. Um, and this skirt on this young lady is bright red. And I think maybe the other skirt is red too. Oh no, it's dark blue. But I wanted the words that are in the white, or the, it's 3865, to not get any of the, they don't, I don't want them to pull the blue or the red through. But this is such a beautiful stitch. Um, I have another one that I purchased uh, that was another one benefiting a shop. It's the uh, she believes she could so she did. I'm not sure if I've shown that or not. Um, I purchased that one. I'm waiting to pull flosses until I've ordered two different cuts of fabric from Color and Cotton in a bright and pink. Um, I didn't know which bright pink I wanted. Um, it's shown. I don't know if I've showed it before, so I'm going to go ahead and show it again. Um, it's shown on a red background, kind of a red, corally, orangey background.
but it's not stitched. That part's not stitched. So I thought, how fun would it be to do that on like a pink fabric? Because pink's her favorite color. So I showed it to her the other day. She goes, ooh, her hair is spot on. My daughter's a blondie. Um, and this little girl in this chart is also a blonde. But she said, now, Mommy, I don't know so much, though, about her dress. She said, do you think you could change your dress? I said, we're not changing anything. I'm not doing anything until the fabric comes. But this, she didn't like that the dress was dark, dark colored. And I, that's totally fine. I could do it like in a dark blue or a dark purple. But I love this. I love the crown and the look, the wistful look. I love Teresa's faces that she does. She's such a prolific artist. I just, I adore, adore everything that she does. So that'll be on a start at some point. I might start that. I Last year for her half birthday in July, I started V Fairy. So I might, if the fabric's here, I might start. It's in the July. So I should maybe be able to. All right. We're trucking right along. I don't know that I'll hit the hour mark tonight. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so I think, and I just ha totally had my phone out. Let's see what I spend to work on tomorrow and my 30 minute project. So first we're going to spend for a 30 minute project. So what I did was I created a tiny decisions wheel with all my whips. I know how many whips I have now because it'll tell you how many options there are on there. I'm not telling you, but it's a lot. <laughs> we got to whittle them down a little bit. So let's see what I'm going to work on for 30 minutes this week. Or excuse me, for 100 stitches each day starting Monday. Christmas here. No. Because. Mm, no, because that's going to come up in Jolly Whip You Lie. So let me pick another one. I need it to not be like a Christmas project. Forget me not. Okay, I will definitely do that, and I don't think, I think that might be one stitching session, so I might be spinning again. Um, in fact, I might do that one tomorrow and Sunday. Let's spin for the 100 stitch project. So forget me not, it's going to be for tomorrow and Sunday. And then let's spin for my 30 minute project, and if, or my out, whatever, Rosetta. Okay, I've got to start that this weekend and pull out what's wrong. But yes, that can be my um, 100 stitches a day project, would be Ink Circles Rosetta. So, that will work. Um, I think we're already, so plans. This weekend, I'm going to put one more stitching session, which is not lengthy, into a corn assortment, and then it will be put away. I'm going to, I've got to get some more time into Mystery Sampler. You will notice I worked on it not at all this week. And we're, you know, in the middle of June. And May is not done. And June's been released. Mm. Um, So I really need to work on that this weekend. And then I'm going to work on Forget Me Not. Maybe I'll get a finish on that before Monday. Then let's see. Monday, I will start with my 100 Stitches a Day project. Thereabouts on Ink Circles Rosetta, which means I need to pull it out this weekend and pull, rip out what's wrong because there was some bad stitching in there and it got me all kind of confobulated and it's not going to be a circle in the middle of one, so I have to fix it. Or I can keep powering through and come back later, but I don't think that's a good idea. And then um, I will spin, I'm not ready to spin something else, but I'll spin for Monday, Tuesday. Um, I'm kind of liking the two-day rotations. Um, I will have a separate wheel for July with just my holiday-themed whips on it. And I will be working, I think, I have, I'm thinking of starting like Nativity Row that first week and doing that as my 100 stitch that first week. And then I have a couple of other ones that I might want to go ahead and get get trucking along with so I might have as many as like four starts I'll have to see how that works with the calendar um and how I feel about that because like I said I have a lot of whips but I also have a lot of kitted things that I want to start so that's what I think we're doing and I know I'm talking about July and it's like still middle of June and goodness knows I'm not ready for July heat because it ramps up even more 
All right, so let's let's talk giveaway. So first, another thank you to those of you that subscribe. Here's some guidelines on um, the subscriber celebration. Um, one, please do not say giveaway in your post. That's the first one. It tends to when you put giveaway, people will start entering even though they don't necessarily subscribe. And I want people that are my subscribers. That's why I'm, I'm celebrating you. You must be 18 years old because I need to be able to legally have your address. And if you're not 18, please don't enter. Or if you want your parent to enter, that's totally fine. Um, there was one other thing I was going to say. Oh, you must be a subscriber. And here's the thing. I don't know if many of you know this, but I found this out the hard way. Um, if you have your subscription set to private, it will not show you in my subscriber list. And going forward, I really am going to rely on that. So if you're not comfortable with that, um, you can reach out to me personally, but I am going to be cross-referencing that list. And so if your subscriptions are set to private, you will not pop up in my list. And if I choose you, I can't, I've, I've said it needs to be someone who's a, that I can verify as a subscriber. And I know that sounds really harsh, but I, I don't have the time to reach out and be like, oh, do you subscribe? Oh, I can't see. Can you show me how you subscribe? I just really, I really unfortunately do not. Um, and then the very last thing is I will ship anywhere in the world Please know that with the state of things in terms of shipping times around the world, I can't guarantee how long it will take to get to you. So, in the event that you win something physical from me, like a physical product from me, and you choose to, and you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to take the risk of it getting lost. I do send USPS with tracking, but that's no guarantee. Um. I will gladly substitute a one, two, three stitch gift card or an Etsy gift card in like virtual gift card in the same amount as the item or valued at whatever that is. So that that's kind of your choice. And then I'll reserve those things for another giveaway later on. Um, so first thing though is I have like two bits of stash <laughs> and the giveaways are kind of in here too. So just ignore that fact. So it's joy filled stashy stash time. So I really don't have much joy filled stashy stash this week because you know the cargo plane arrived last week and dumped like an hour's worth of content and stuff. Like I felt like I was like trying to get through it so the video was not eight hours long. Um, so this week I got very little and only one of them is stitchy related. One of them is craft related. So I did, um, I sought out, because I've just, for my diamond painting, been using the little tiny plastic pen that comes with the kit, which is nice. The problem is I found that I was not able to do it for long because it kind of like holding that little, that little thing. So, you know, there's this whole world of diamond painting accessories. So I might have fallen down the Etsy rabbit hole and I got this beautiful, um, diamond painting pen it's got the single placer and the multi-placer which I don't really use but she asked me and I was like I should put it on there um I will link below the shop that I got this from they are USA based I did make sure that I was buying from someone in the U.S. there were lots that were not um this is actually a Texas seller and I think these are beautiful they are um like ceramic clay so I got this one. It's just a single placer. You can even see they use the little plastic pen, but they lay on um, a beautifully decorated clay. And then I got this one as well that has some really cute um, birds on it. I will link them. They are front in Texas. Um, these both shipped out quickly and arrived quickly. This one is more like um, ceramic, but it's like these feel softer to the touch. This feels like it's been glazed, like a, an epoxy or something over it. The other thing that I got, and I ordered this a while ago, I actually had a package go missing from this company. Um, and she refunded me. And it the way that I had originally, because it, 
it shipped back on March 6th and it never moved. It like never left her country. And I have fully told her that if it ever arrives, that I will, you know, pay her the amount for it. Because she refunded it, which was not necessary. I never sought that. I just was like, let me know if you see anything different on your end on the tracking. So, I have purchased from her before. I will continue to purchase from her. And that is um, Jukas at XJU Designs. So, when she refunded me, I went ahead and took a chance on maybe the Postal Service doing a better job this time. Because we were, you know, we're further out of the mail being all jacked up. And it, it made it to me today. So I got three pieces of linen from her. I ended up because it was an Etsy gift card that I had used to purchase the first. I wanted to put it right back in her store. Um, and I feel bad that she's out product and I have told her that if in the event something arri arrives from the original order that I will gladly pay for it. And I, I was fine with not getting anything back on the other one. So I got um, two pieces of 40 count. I got this smaller cut. I like that she does some of the small cuts. This is an eight by 13. And this is in light beige brown. So I thought it was a beautiful piece. I got this piece of 40 count, which is in rustic drab. And this is a 13 by 14 inch kind of square-ish piece. And, I, and these do look really pretty together even. And then I got this, this is a fat quarter of 36 count old sheep. And this is a great sampler one, I think. I'm not a huge sampler stitcher, but I think it'd make a great sampler. So, and I love her linens. Um, Squirrely Welcome, which is one of my charts, is stitched on one of her linens. I have a couple of Barbara Anna's going on her linen. Love it. Um, what's sad is the first order that I placed was actually, I wanted to try some of her Even Weave and her Ada, and it's lost in postal land somewhere and she sent me a beautiful um freebie of her six ply silk and this is in tawny and actually i think that would make a beautiful like in some kind of a garden scene that could even be a good skin tone um so yeah that stash i agree pitiful i like happy mail i got no happy mail this week um but i do know that like I think my um, nest egg shipped and I think it has two months of gentle arts so it should be here soon. Things are taking a little longer still to move around places. Anywho, let's chat giveaways. So the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna show you something and I'm gonna give you a number. You can enter as many as you want um, but you're gonna put that number and I'm gonna ask you to Mm, that's it just put the number and if you want to say something nice that's nice too anyway so subscriber celebration package number one is some of my favorite things so it is going to include a Lori Holt design board which this is a 10 by 10 it's got the, the fleece kind of feeling I keep one of these sitting next to my stitchy spot here to hold my floss it catches Things, things don't roll like my Apple Pencil won't roll off, so you're going to get one of those. You're going to get a It's So Emma roll of finishing tape. You're going to get a package of the Access Commodities floss drops. And you're going to get the Heart and Hand Merry Making Mini 4th of July. So, that is number, and the finishing tape's right there, that's number one. Um, I will say these are going to run two videos. So I will do the drawings for these, not next Friday, but the following Friday. Number two, again, some more of my favorite things. This includes a Love You More Studio Co pouch in the um, standard size. It includes a Dying for Cross Stitch Fat Quarter of 18 Count Ada. This was the May Fabric of the Month and a selection of five beautiful pastels from Victorian Motto. So that is number two, some more of my favorite things. All right, number three, might seem smaller, but it's a pretty good deal, um, is Gnomes in the Garden Row by Bent Creek with a Dinky Dyes Oops Pack. 
and the uh, little freebie pack they send. So as you can see, this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 17, 18, 20 skeins. They're not full skeins. They are oops because they are less than their normal skeins, but they're still working lengths. I love these. Um, and so this is that pack with the complimentary extras and garden row, gnomes in the garden row. So this is number three. We're on three. All right, number four is a chart set. This is the Plum Street Sampler Sewn in Friendship, a pin keep, and the collaborative piece from Heartstring Samplery. So if you want to, you can stitch them separately or together. And if you stitch them together, you can kind of see that the birds will face each other and they each have a half of a heart. And it says, a token for my friend from my heart to your hand. So this is number four will be the chart set. Number five, and this is in a crinkly bag. My apologies. Another one of my favorite things. I happened to purchase an extra 12 by 13 and five by six mini bag from Garone Toten Bags. This is the Summer Quaker Sal bag that they did a pre-order on. I ordered an extra set so I could give one to one of you. So again, this is number five. Number five is the Garon Tote Bags set for one of you lucky folks. And it still smells so good. I don't know what Ronnie uses to wash, dry, whatever, but it smells so good. All right, and the very last thing, this is number six. This is from Stitch Toolbox. This is her June bag of the month, with the, which is camping theme. It is a vinyl front bag. And it comes with a few goodies. Beautifully crafted bag. It comes with a Stitch Toolbox uh, chart. This is um, Summer Camp. And this was, I believe, designed by her son, maybe, was in the note notation. Comes with some Tim Horton tea and a Happy Camper, like laser etched needle minder. So this is number six. So again, one through six. Please be a subscriber, please be 18. Please do not say giveaway, I will delete your comment. It will only count if you post on this video. Um, I will reference them next week in the video, but remind everybody to come back here just so it's fair. And in two weeks, yes, in two weeks, we will draw some winners. So again, thank you so, so, so much. I hope that you enjoy, you know, getting an opportunity to maybe win one of these things and there's something that tickles your fancy. Now let's talk a little life update. Mm -hmm. So you may have noticed that I feel a little bit better. I'm feeling a lot better, actually. Um... I have felt so uplifted just this this past week. Um, there's been a lot of folks that have reached out to me via Instagram, on, the, on my last video, through email, lots of different channels. People have reached out to me, shared personal experience, share, shared personal accounts, shared that I'm not alone in any of this just shared a heart emoji, whatever it was, it has made me realize I'm not alone in this world and I'm not alone. I mean, clearly I'm not alone. I have a loving husband. I have a loving daughter. I have loving parents. I have family. I have my coworkers who are praying for me on the daily, but there's something about this community and just knowing that even if I've never met any of you in person, to know that you're thinking about me, that you're thinking well for me, that's huge. That is huge. That makes me feel blessed beyond measure to be part of this community. And I hope I know some of you have said often that I bring you joy and that I'm bringing constancy and, you know, by having a video every Friday, you have to understand that I do that because I know that some of you count on these videos because it's like it's part of your weekly routine i do them for myself too it's something i look forward to um and i hope that someday i can meet many of you in person give you a true and rightful hug 
not just these little virtual hugs, and um, that we can converse and talk about stitching and all the amazing things. Um, I adore this community, and so being such a part of it, um, people sharing just kind thoughts and kind words about me, it's hands down been highly positive for me and has improved things greatly. The other thing that has improved is that I feel like my medication has finally leveled out. Um, and so I'm feeling much better about things like that. Um, so this week I did find out that my gallbladder is not a problem right now. I, they did show that some of my internal organs are a little bit angry right now. They're like inflamed or enlarged. Um, some of that comes along with some of my chronic health things, but I wanted some answers. And the people, the person that, that um, at my doctor's office, I'm part of a, a family medical group that I normally see as a nurse practitioner. And I kind of felt a little blown off by her response of, okay, just diet and lose weight and exercise. I was like, okay, I need to know that this is not something bigger because when I doctor Google it, it says, blah, 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 you know, like big, big time problems. And so I, I became pro proactive and I am assigned a primary care physician that I've seen several times, but normally I just see the nurse practitioner because it's easier to get into her. Well, it was a true blessing that I got on Wednesday after this all kind of fell down, you know, fell down upon me. I got on Wednesday and she had an appointment for this morning. So I actually went this morning she palpitated where I've been having the pain. She says, well, that's the base of your liver. So I agree that there, you know, there is some inflammation there. It will cause you some concerns. She said, I am going to run, like ran a bunch. It was kind of my physical for the year. So she ran all kinds of blood work. I am prayerful that that all comes back looking good. Um, but it gave me some peace of mind to know that it's not my gallbladder and there's not, not surgery imminent or anything like that because I could not imagine that at this time and place. Um, and going forward, I mean, I've already lost, I think, something like 10 pounds in the last month and 20 pounds since I was there last, which was not that long, um, which is big for me because it's very hard for me to lose weight just because of some of my chronic conditions and things like that. Um, so I feel good about that. Now I will say in terms of mental health state, the medication is working. On Tuesday, I went and did an intake appointment with a counseling service, which is basically like an interview. And the head counselor who knows all of the counselors that are within the practice interviewed me kind of like, what's going on? Tell me your backstory. Tell me your history. Is this anything? Da, 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 da. And she matched me with someone and I got a call from them on Thursday and I'm set up to start seeing her, I think every other week starting next Friday. So we've kind of been busy. Um, I've had, you know, doctor's appointments. Um, I had a doctor's appointment today. I had the counselor's appointment on Tuesday morning coming up this next week. I have my four month follow up with my endocrinologist. I have, my daughter has her six month dental appointment. Um, and then I have the counselor's appointment. So yeah, it's this is this is this time of year though. I do it so that we can do all of these type appointments in the summer and at Christmas. And if I don't do them now, then we bump too far out and then we're back into school again in January or February. Um, so it seems like there's a lot of doctor's appointments because I do this on purpose. And we kind of had to wait. We had to push some of them back. But now everything seems to be opening wide up. I will say that the big nasty corona numbers are going up 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 here in texas and our governor is not slowing down 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 so we're still taking precautions we are still um i think the numbers are going up more because there is a lot more testing going on the testing that should have been happening back in march april and may is now happening um i they're not saying anything about hot spots or anything like that around here we do still, still wear masks, so I'm going to say if you are in the South and wear a mask, bless, your, bless you. Because I, I feel you. Because you literally are like sweating the minute you put it on. Um, but it's worth it for the, for the peace of mind, if nothing else. Um, 
looking ahead, we did swim lessons this week. We did it with um, one of my coworkers who this is her summer thing. She um, does swim lessons in the afternoons at her home pool. It's her and one other person who are doing a very good job of, you know, distancing, not going out, not doing a bunch of stuff. And it's was my child and two other children that are two of her best and dearest friends. So I will tell you that this week has made a huge difference that I got to sit and socially distance talk with real life human moms. Friends. Um, and that made a huge difference this week in my mood and feeling more uplifted. Now, this next week, Joyful Little One doesn't have anything going on other than her dentist appointment. Um, but then the following week, we have another week of swim lessons. Um, she knows how to swim. Right now, we're working more on stroke. She's learned to tread water. She's learning to dive. I mean, there's a lot more going on with that. We are still waiting on the custom molded earplugs. We are working with silicone plugs. One day of water in her ear, which was t Monday, I think, Tuesday, Monday. Monday or Tuesday, she got a little bit of water in her ear on a dive and she came over to me and we, you know, tried to get it out, you know, like tip your head this way, da da da. Very next day, it's infected. Like, I mean, it's that, legitimately that fast. So we've been on ear drops twice a day. She's still swimming, but she's modifying it. So she's not getting a bunch of forced pressure to squeeze the water in there. We're using some different silicone plugs um, and she wears an ear band to hold them in. And so then we've got a week off with really nothing except all these appointments. Um, we were supposed to, we had planned for quite some time to go to um, the hill country to visit family and throw my um, cousin a high school graduation party for her and eight girls. We decided against it like today. And so I'm a bit bummed about that. Um, but we just decided that we did not feel comfortable with that yet. Um, because they haven't, they're, you know, they've gone out to eat. They're, she's seeing her boyfriend, things like that. And just I don't know we just we just didn't feel right about it and when it boiled down to it we were having my mom and I were happy because it was my mom and myself and joy filled little one we're gonna go I was talking to my mom today and I said and she said you know I've just been I'm gonna get a little spiritual right now I've been asking God to give me the answer to this and I said well since you bring that up I find it interesting that you know our church has opened back up but it's very limited who can attend like how many can attend and things like that and so we've been doing still virtual church we've not been back to church and I said I find it very interesting that we're willing to up and travel four hours to see family we're not super comfortable with how they've been handling themselves during this time but yet we haven't even been back to church yet like in-person church and she goes well, I have my answer now. So that was like the final, the final thing. Joyful Little One's bummed. Like her cousin is like, ah, uh, like her BFF. Um, obviously there's some age difference there, but she just adores her and she was so excited to see her. We're going to try to plan something maybe later in the summer when we feel more comfortable. When I'm not going through all of this stuff I've been going through, I was really kind of having some like uh, angst about, because I do all the driving. So it would have been a four-hour drive tomorrow morning-ish. And then a four-hour drive on Monday morning. And that's a lot in a very short amount of time. I would have made it work, though, if we had decided and felt comfortable with it. So, I mean, things are going a lot better. I, again, want to thank you all for your, your well wishes, your positive thoughts, your prayers. Those of you that feel so inclined. I know that our world is a very different place even this week than it was last week. And if you are feeling extra stress, extra anxiety, extra just turmoil, whatever feelings you're having, please know that I think about the greater of you. Um, I pray about you. Um, Please feel free to reach out to me if there's something you feel is weighing heavily and you'd like to share it with me. Um, I'm a problem solver, so give me something to solve. I don't know that I can solve it, but I can sure try. Um, 
I wish you all the best this week. Um, you know, I think that for some, stitching has been a solace-seeking thing. For some, stitching has been, you've lost your stitchy bag. Um, I know that I've had a few days where I was like, I just really don't want to pick anything up. And I think that that's just a testament to where a lot of people's head space is right now. Um, I found peace and joy in my stitching this week, but there's no guarantee that I'll find it there next week. So having, I know I've been sharing a little bit about the diamond painting, but I, that's because that is something else I have in my back pocket to, to kind of progress with some of this, the anxiety and the angst and the worry and the, all of that. So if you made it to this point for life update, thank you so much. Um, you each mean so very much to me. And I love doing this every week and kind of chit-chatting like I'm chit-chatting with my friends. Um, my friends that I have been work seeing this week, um, one of them is my dear, dear friend. And I've been sharing what I've been going through. And so it's been really nice to have somebody in person to talk to. And I'm very um, positive about finding a counselor and I'm praising about that. I'm also praising that the gallbladder turned out the way it did and um, that it seems like for now I'm on the right track with everything else until I hear otherwise so I can be positive about that. So with that, I think we are officially done with this week's weekly update and hopefully next week I have a few other stashy stash things to show you um, because that usually um, is something fun that a lot of you like to see. Um, however, I've got to cut back on the spending. Just, that's not a lie right there. Because with extra expenses coming here and there, um, yeah, stitching kind of takes a back seat. So hopefully you all have a great week ahead, and I will see you next Friday. Don't forget to enter below if you like any of the giveaways. If you like none of them, just leave me a fun comment or an emoji or a whatever. So with that, I will say, so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye until next week.